How's it going everybody? You know who it is. My name is Sun Wu and in today's video I want to share with you the fastest and easiest way that I have found to run Windows programs on Mac OS. Quick backstory here, I recently bought this old MIDI keyboard and in order to change its settings I wanted to use the software application. However, the Mac version that exists of this won't run on the recent Macs and I don't know of any way to use old Mac programs on modern Mac computers. So I thought maybe it's easier to actually use an old Windows version on Mac OS. And I had a look at different programs because I wasn't up to date regarding running Windows programs on Mac and I found an amazing new program. Long story short, this is Porting Kit. If you want to download it, head over to portingkit.com. And I am not affiliated in any way. I just wanted to share it with you because it's such an easy way to run Windows programs on your Mac and it's free. So you can just go ahead and download it, install it like any other Mac program, then go ahead and download whichever program you want to run. So in this case, the SL Mark II editor for Windows. And now let's presume we have already installed Porting Kit. That's not difficult. I'm not going to showcase that. I'm going to open up Porting Kit. Normally you are greeted with this screen. And then you head over to either games or apps, depending on what you want to install. And then you can see I've got custom ports here. So these are already Windows programs that I have previously installed. And just to quickly prove to you how easy it is to start a Windows program in here on your Mac, I press play on the SL Mark II editor that I have already installed and the Windows program opens up without any problems. And here you go. We've got a Windows program running on Mac. So now I'm going to show you the process of installing a program here, which is also super easy. We press add application. And here I've got the Windows executable file for the installer for the program. I open it up and we're going to call this port demo. There you go. Press OK. And now, as far as I understand it, Porting Kit will first port this installer so it is usable on Mac. I just click Next and Next. Now we can decide on the engine we're using that I leave on default and an operating system. So if you can guess what kind of operating system the program that you want to run was running on originally, in this case, I'm going to use Windows 98 as this is an old Windows application and press next. Install and now it's installing. And this first process was just porting the Windows installer to Mac and now we can actually run this Windows installer. So we press next, 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 just like any other Windows installer and it's done. And now it prompts us to select the executable file of this port. We only got one choice here, so we press OK. And the installation was successful, so we close this. And now I have this port here that is called demo. So if we go back here, you can see it among my other ports. So I can press the play button here on demo. Mac OS prompts us for some safety measures. We allow them. And here it is. Our Windows program is now actually opening up on Mac. I press OK and OK. And you can see the editor that I just installed. So again, this is definitely the easiest way that I have found to run Windows programs on Mac super easy, super comfortable. You don't need to be a computer geek to get things running like this. And yeah, 
If you are like me and want to run old and obscure programs on your Mac, there's a high chance that there won't be a native Mac version available that is still running. So maybe just go with the Windows version and port it over using Porting Kit. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you. If it did, I would appreciate a like, comment down below or subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful time. Peace.